guys, I'm John. Welcome back if you've been here before. And if you're brand new, then thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate you stopping by. <laughs> and we hope that you would like to stick around by hitting the little subscribe button, the bell right next to it, and just watching all of our videos. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So it's our favourite <laughs> time of the week when we get to review a restaurant. Yeah, nice one today. Yeah, if it involves food, I'm in, so. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. Um, so today we are reviewing Morimoto Asia. We are, yeah. It was a, um, one of our favourite ones, I think. If I'm honest. Well, you have to wait till the end to see if it was one of our favourites. <laughs> well, it was. <laughs> Giving the game away. Yeah. Okay, so we've got our usual categories. If you don't know what they are, then stick around, you'll find out. Um, so we'll just go straight in with location. Go for it. Okay, so it's in Disney Springs. Yeah, it's in the um, landing dock section. So if you're going to get like the boats, there's yeah. a little boat port. Thingy. Over your bridge, it's really, really nice place. The opposite um, Chef, Chef Arts. Arts, yeah. Um, so you can't miss it. It's a really big building. It's you can't miss it at all. It's pretty much surrounded by water as well, which is really nice. Yeah, it's yeah. in a really nice location. Um, not really much more to say on location. No, I mean like you said before, location is where it is. It's it's, it's not. It's it's a strange strange run really because you can't really change it. It is not a bad location really. No. So it's um yeah, it's where it is. Yeah. So I gave it a four based on that. Okay, I'll give it a five because I don't think you can follow. Yeah, I decided a four was adequate. Cool, yeah. Um, so our next category is atmosphere. Yeah. Um, so when you walk into Marimoto Asia, it feels super fancy. It does. All the sand and all the lighting, the big lighting, what, what, you know, from four to in the enough sea. And, um, yeah, they're huge. They're like really yeah. dangly. Yeah, no, it, it looks, it feels really like you said, fancy. It feels fancy. Yeah. Um, it's really sleek. It's all black and white. It's all yeah. very modern. Very modern. Very, very, yeah, very modern. Very plush. Very fancy as well, I think. Yeah. yeah. So we ate there at lunchtime. So this review will be based off of lunchtime. Yeah. Um, and it was quiet in there. Like, not super quiet that you were like, oh God, we're the only people in here. <laughs> no. But there were maybe like, Eight of the table. Yeah, eight to ten maybe. It, it wasn't. It didn't feel grand. What was really nice. It was. It was quiet. You can hear everyone talk. It. It was. It just felt like it was our. It was just us sort of in. Like, yeah, you know. they'd spread everybody out. So yeah. like maybe there was a table or two between everyone, which is nice. You're not listening in on anybody else's Absolutely. conversation. Yeah. You can kind of spread out on your table, Absolutely. which is nice. Yeah, it was a big enough table, it wasn't one key on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was nice. And the building itself is, um, I mean, you can see it from the car park. Yeah. I think in one of our vlogs, if I can find it, I will link it. But um, I'm stood at the top <laughs> of the car park going, look, that's where we're, oh, it must have been this yeah, day. Yeah, um, and I'm stood there going, look, we can see it, that's <laughs> where we're eating. And you can see it from, especially yeah. the lime grass. It, it's, so. it certainly stands out, that building. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's it for atmosphere. I think. Okay, what did we give it? I gave it a four. I give it a four point five. Yeah, <laughs> being stingy today turns out. No, no, I mean the atmosphere is really nice. It might be different atmosphere at dinner time than than, than lunch because obviously we more people going at that at lunch at dinner, but. What we experienced was was really nice. Yeah, it was. So, um, so the food quality. Um, the one thing I noted about um, Marimoto Asia, opposed to other restaurants that we'd eaten at, was how big <laughs> the menu was. Yeah, it was like double sided, and it was. I mean, it was made. Oh, it was huge. It was it bigger was, than A four. It was big. It was it put about A three mm. size menu. Um, what what is a double sided? And it's good because there's a lot of choice. Yeah. <laughs> but mm. then it's negative. If you're anything like me and it can't make your mind up, <laughs> because there's not on yeah, that, that's you, true. that you want. Um, but that's just me being indecisive. Yeah, <laughs> I like a lot of choice, so yeah. um, it was good for me. And it was nice to see all of the, because it wasn't just a big menu of similar things. It was a big menu of completely different yeah. things. Like they had sushi, they had dim sum, they had ramen, yeah. they had like meats and fish and Absolutely. you know, all of that. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, I, I completely get it. It was a big menu, but I say, it depends how you look at it. Yeah. <laughs> Good or bad, so yeah. So at the back of the restaurant, there's a great big glass wall and you can see right through to the kitchen. Yeah, it's so nice. So, so professional, so clean. 
Yeah, there's nothing like, um, what's he called? Gordon Ramsay at his restaurant to be shouting and screaming. And <laughs> yeah, swearing. they will come. <laughs> it was so nice, so professional, so clean. And it was so nice to see him and actually just prepare the food, actually. Yeah, you just know that it's not going to be bad quality because, like, yeah. looking at it in front of you. Absolutely. Know. There's nothing to hide. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Well, one of your, it's the biggest, fo one of your biggest focal points of the restaurant. And you're, you're instantly drawn to that, that little yeah, window yeah. because it is a whole stretch of the, the the size of a restaurant really from one end to the other I think so it is you know it's, you can't miss it really so I had the seafood crispy Shanghai noodles um it was a huge <laughs> portion it was a massive I must admit yeah. yours was massive um yeah. it came out and obviously crispy noodles <laughs> and it had a whole ton of seafood it was very very tasty um very very intimidating for yeah. me and um, they could have halved it I think absolutely I think because it was lunchtime as well maybe at dinner time it might have been the right right right, right portion size but for lunchtime it was yeah, massive. It was huge. Yeah, for yours. Um, but, but it was it, very, very nice. Yeah, and it looked impressive to be fair. It did look yeah. nice. Yeah, I suppose it's so you get a mix of everything. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it was it was quite intimidating. <laughs> and John had the Morimoto Berry Bop. So, yeah, that was called. Okay, so yeah, he won a Morimoto Chef won the award with this dish. Mm -hmm. And um, they prepare it table side, so you come out in what the, in the pot yeah it's like a pot. clay a clay pot i maybe? guess um and it holds the heat it's on a, like a hot pad and it holds the heat and basically they prepare up table side and it's like a, we've got a video somewhere so we might insert it but the green is my sesame spinach soup very hot and the light white over here is my daikon that's my radish small indentation to cook my egg yolk up against the bottom of the Pour some of my sweet dashi berry bop sauce to flavor my rice. So I'm mixing it all up. Another dish was originally used back in 1999 in the Iron Chef competition. Chef Morimoto used it in some traditional Korean style dish called a bibim. So what Chef did was he put his bibim bop together, seared all his ingredients in a black stone bowl like I'm doing here, he just finished the dish, put his fish on top of his rice, complete the dish, and with Iron Chef. Thank you. <laughs> I'm finishing the dish off like chef. Fish on top of the rice. That's amazing. But yeah, he, he sort of makes it all together and, and do what he does. Like binds it. it with an egg yolk. Absolutely. And it, it was gorgeous. It was really nice. You can see why he won an award with it. It was really nice. And mine wasn't too big. Mine was probably Yeah, like, John's was perfect size and very tasty. Out of the two yeah. of them, um, John's was the favourite. Absolutely. I didn't think it was too little, too big. It was probably the perfect size for, for lunch for me um, that particular day. So yeah, I think the contrast between your size and my side, mine was probably about, about right. Yeah. So yeah, no, really, really nice. I really enjoyed my main. Yeah, and then for dessert, I had um, some kind of churro thing. Yeah, yours was nice. I can't remember what it was called. I thought I wrote down, but it was like a chocolate churro. Yeah. Um, it was so <laughs> good. I didn't know I liked churros because <laughs> no. I don't like donuts. Not really. Like I don't like a regular donut. Yeah. But um. I do. Yeah. <laughs> so I tend to like not go for things like that. Yeah. Um, but from this menu, the churro was the thing that stood out. Absolutely. So yours came in like a a, a tube of chocolate. It as came well. with a little tube of chocolate and a tub of like a vanilla cream kind yeah. of thing. Um, and it was so good. And then I discovered my love for churros and I think <laughs> we were like three days from the end of our trip. So yeah. I, I could have eaten all of the Disney churros. Yeah, see so my mine was I don't got big on dessert anyway. You had the chocolate cream crunch. Yeah, what well, I wasn't too keen on. Um, I wish I had whatever I had. See, so, you know, I had a better main, maybe, if you see it like that, but you had a better dessert. Um, but it didn't bother me because my main was so, so, so nice. Yeah, you're not a dessert person. No, I, I'm, I always sort of say in these reviews that my dessert wasn't the best but it, it, because I'm not really, I would rather have bigger main than a dessert. Yeah. But that's just me. So. I would <laughs> Yeah, so the food quality, um, I don't think you can really fault it, so I gave it a 4.5. No, I think really nice, but I can't remember what I gave it. I gave it also a 3.5, and I think I'll probably... 4.5. I, I gave it, uh, knocked up that 
half a point off because of dessert, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, so, customer service. Yep. Um, so, we found all the staff very polite and the outfits are, you know, costumes really or whatever you really want to call smart, it. Yeah. They look really smart. Um, they, we, this trip we made a point of asking what they recommended. Yeah. And then sometimes taking it off. Yeah. Um, yeah. Most, I, a lot of the time we did actually. I did that a lot on this trip, but yeah. and I, I, only because I've heard a, a podcast. I think I've listened to some sort of podcast, and and they recommended that, so I I, I, I listened to that, and this is the one that I asked to recommend um, what they would recommend, and they picked this buoy bop, and I must it was really nice. So I was yeah really yes. happy with with that. With their pick, really. Yeah, they made some really great recommendations. Yeah. They were super attentive, like Absolutely. filling up your water, filling up your diet cokes, yeah. all of that jazz. When um, you know, and coming over and making sure everything was okay, and if yeah. you had any questions. Absolutely. And then at the end, when I was clearly struggling <laughs> with my meal, and because I said to you earlier, yeah. I don't feel like don't feel like I ate a lot of it, but I probably did. I don't think you, yeah. I but mean, it was so intimidating that you was I was eating the whole course of the time I was eating. Yeah. But you didn't hardly dent it. Yeah. It was so, big. so she came over and she asked if I or the waitress asked if I wanted to take it away, which um, we said yes, yes. and then <laughs> in the end. I couldn't face it afterwards, no. so we did get rid of it. But I mean, you, you got it's just so much food in whole Disney. Take take out of, you know you just rest up for a second. You fill up all the time, yeah. so and you don't want to leave it. But just as a side note, they wouldn't if we went to a restaurant in England and I left the meal, they wouldn't come up to us and say, "Do you want to take it at home? You have a good goodie bag." It might on a very rare occasion. But Maybe if you've not touched any of it, they would probably ask. But if you've left, say, half a burger, yeah. half of your chips, they wouldn't. They would just say, "Are you done?" And Absolutely. Take it away. But as a customer so service, nice. customer service in America is is so much better it's than than England. Isn't it? Yeah, I mean, technically, they right we're asking you because it's yours. You, you pay for, for it. it. Yeah. So um, yeah, that, that side note, the customer service in America in general, they do that, and I and I do appreciate that. Yeah. So, yeah, certainly done it in this restaurant as well. So yeah, yeah. really good. And the guy that came over and cooked John's meal at the table. Yeah. And um, firstly, that's a really exciting experience. It was. Anyway, you don't get to see that very often, especially no. not with food that because it's obviously a Pan Asian restaurant, and we don't really eat Asian food. Not no, often. I mean you may be like a really fancy restaurant in London. They might do it for a steak or or. or something like that but it's not common at all yeah and so uh, yeah it was a really nice change really yeah and he had a lot of um you know a character and he was yeah. in kind of talking to us as well as explaining right, he, he was explaining what was the ingredients what was it and what he was doing and why more motor won this award when he was doing it um and he was explaining it as yeah so it was almost like a small little show as well with, with your meal yeah it was super nice yeah it was good it was really good yeah so i gave food uh no customer service <laughs> i gave customer service a five absolutely you can't you couldn't you know fault it so i also gave it a five yeah so next point is theming yeah this one it's tricky because you you say Disney restaurants and you think, oh, this is seem like this, or yeah. you're in the Beast Castle, or yeah. you're in Morocco, in you know, and yeah. you, the restaurants, I mean, a whole ton of them are themed massively, and then you go tomorrow to Asia and it didn't <laughs> feel massively themed well, to me. No, I think I, I agree because I mean, in in comparison to Beauty and the Beast, it's not themed like that. How, and I don't think they were going, but it, it, no. it, it was more to be modern, more up class, more fancy, rather than uh, I don't know any other theme restaurant. So it's not a bad thing that it wasn't themed. Yeah. You know? What I did know, um, it's just a funny little <laughs> note, is that in the ladies' toilets, <laughs> not that. That is where the majority of the theme goes on. But in the ladies' toilets, it was all pictures of men. And then when I came out and I told John, John yeah. said, "In the ladies' toilet, in the men's toilets, yeah. it's all pictures of ladies." Yeah, and that's I really nice. It was funny. It, it, it's, it's a little quirky sort of bit, you know. But it's really nice that that they do it. And other restaurants in in England, like the Closey Club, they also do the same same sort of thing. So it's just mm -hmm. a, a quirky little thing. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> and um, the lab cheese kind of look like jellyfish which is cool yeah and then obviously the main theme in the main focal point is the glass 
while in the the visible cooking space. Absolutely. I mean, you know, we just we just mentioned it, but yeah, you, you can't miss it. You, you're instantly drawn to the kitchen and and the glass wall because it is just so big. Yeah. That and the sandy years probably is what you what you're drawn to. Yeah. The most. But it's worth probably mentioning the the upstairs because obviously you 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 eat on the ground floor. Um, I think they do have um, dining tables up there for in the evening, but because it was lunchtime, yeah. everyone was downstairs. But there was a cocktail bar as well, um, what we didn't obviously try because it was lunchtime well, it wasn't and it wasn't open. open. But it might be worth going in there if you know, at, at night time as for a cocktail. Yeah. yeah, it was certainly a nice nice area as well. So, yeah. so although it was beautiful, um, I don't think it was massively themed, so I gave it a 3.5. Yeah, I would agree. It wasn't massively themed, but I don't think it was going for that. And I get, I went slightly higher because it's full, um, because I don't think it mattered so much. Okay, so value for money, this is where it gets complicated. <laughs> it does get complicated. Um, so at lunchtime, Marimoto Asia is one table service. At dinner time, it is two table services. <laughs> um, the only things that we could find that they add on to the menu for dinner time is some lobster dishes. And some steak. Um, the steak is on the lunchtime menu, yeah. but there is an upcharge yes. for it. So your steak would be included at dinner. Yeah. Um, so that being said, I don't know if I feel like dinner for two, because that makes it a signature restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if dinner for two credits would be worth it for me, but for lunch, I think one credit is really reasonable. Yeah, I, I think I agree with that. I mean, if I was at, going, if I wanted a steak, I'd probably go to a different restaurant. Yeah. Um, if I wanted lobster, I'd probably go to a different a different restaurant. So for me, I don't think I'd be happy using two table service. Just for those add-ons. Just for those add-on. However, I was really happy to use one table service in lunch because you get into eating in the same restaurant with the food that I will probably order at dinner time anyway. Because yeah. if I want, like I said, if I wanted a steak, I'd go to Ikea yeah, or California Grill. If I wanted lobster, I'd go to the, the you know a, a fish place or clubhouse mm -hmm. or something. So, so yeah, I don't think it was worth it for me. Um, however, someone who really likes that they might, they might they might think it was worth it but for us if we was going to that restaurant i would i'd been happy with noodles or, or or a sushi or that type of food so it wouldn't been worth it for us yeah another point to make is that for the one table service credit yeah. it was we don't do it often and i don't know if it's something that other people do use their table services at lunchtime but it actually made a really nice change absolutely um, yeah so it meant that we could get up a bit later we went in for lunch and then we went into the park in the afternoon yeah. and we were full i don't know if you're <laughs> watching our vlogs i'll leave them i'll yeah. leave the vlog i'm talking about just up there but um we said oh we forgot to eat yeah but and that was like. this day because <laughs> yeah. we'd eaten so that being said i probably did eat a lot of my yeah. noodles yeah. but um yeah we weren't hungry we ate at about 10 at night yeah, at least. Uh, but so it, it filled us up all day, you know, and, and it was, you know, it was nice to sort of take that hour, hour and a half out of your day just to sort of sit down and have a, have a, mm -hmm. have a, have a meal and a chat. So yeah, absolutely. So in my opinion, and I think probably in yours as well, um, if you are thinking of trying Maramoto Asia and you don't really want to use two table service credits, then I would say definitely go for lunch, it's definitely worth it. If you're paying out of pocket, I don't think it really matters when you go day or night, no. it's the same price. Is. Absolutely, yeah. I think the only thing I add to that, I completely agree, the only, the only thing I, I, I'll add to that is there is a quick service bit on the outside. Mm -hmm. So if you didn't want to sit down meal and you wanted to try the noodles or, or the rice dish or whatever, <laughs> um, sorry, <laughs> then there is, a, there is a, a... Yeah, just the street food. Yeah, what what we would have tried but it just ran out of time and it looked it looked good as well mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah just a side note so i gave it a four for value for money i think if it was just based on lunch time then it would yeah. definitely have got a five but if you consider that they're trying to add um because if you say well if you if you consider they're trying to add an extra table service credit just for those up charges that yeah. i don't i think that's cheeky absolutely um i gave it a slightly higher 4.5 and mm -hmm. i think that's probably because the meal I had um, was, what was it? $24. 24 dollars, so roughly about 18 pounds. Which is good. Uh, what, for a meal that was so tasty, you say, and so nice, and a meal that he won an award for, 
I think it was reasonable, it was paying out of pocket. So yeah, I went 4.5, but completely agree what, what about the, the dining plan. And it's the just credit, a bit cheeky, so. isn't it? Yeah. Like, but, you know, I can see why they're doing it, because obviously a lobster and steak yeah, is, is, expensive. is expensive. But I wouldn't have that type of food in that restaurant anyway. Yeah. So, so the next yeah. point, I guess, is would we return? Um, I think we both agree. I said, <laughs> yeah, um, I would return for lunch. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I would either definitely go for lunch um, or the quick pay, service. Or quick service. Yeah, I don't. I don't probably think I want to go to dinner. table service for dinner. No. There's just so many other signature restaurants yeah. that this one would just fall down by the side, I think, and I don't think yeah. it would live up to the. Rest but when of it. when you compare in other two table service restaurants, I think it's and I'm not taking anything away from this restaurant by any means. It's really nice and, and really, really delicious. It's just that, that that comparison between all of them, that's all. Yeah, so overall score from me was a four. Okay, mine was a 4.5. I think that is <laughs> spot on, actually. I think that is spot on. I think you are. I, I, I really enjoyed, me, so enjoyed it, so I think 4.5 is a, is a good score. Yeah. yeah, so let us know if you've been <laughs> to Maramo to Asia and if you enjoyed it. Or if you're planning on going to Maramo to Asia, are you going to go for lunch or for dinner? And actually, tell me what dish <laughs> to have next time because I'm, I make bad decisions. <laughs> no, your yeah. dessert decision was better than my, my Okay, dessert. I make good dessert decisions, <laughs> but bad main decision yeah yeah no but guys it was fantastic um really recommend it um just let us know what you guys think yeah and we'll <laughs> see you next time i'll see you take care guys bye, bye.